Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1986 Autobot Triple Changer Broadside. So what we're going to do with this video then, we're going to have a detailed look at him in all three of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to have a look at the accessories that come with him to help you know if yours is complete. Because he is a vintage toy, I'm going to point out things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase one for yourself. And as I'm lucky enough to have one still in the packaging, we can have a look at the artwork and the beautiful battle scene on the back of that. Now before we get started I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out. Okay where do we start with this figure then? So he is a triple changer um, and to be fair this particular mode I really like the aeroplane mode I think it looks great. Uh, the robot mode is reasonable in the aircraft carrier mode it is an aircraft carrier mode however this figure i probably would say epitifies the meaning of the word generation one brick um because if we look at him in robot mode the head is glued down they perhaps could have put a screw in there and had it move around a little bit the arms this is the articulation you've got it's borderline shoulder bicep that is about it the waist is fused the legs are fused the feet only move for transformation purposes so it is unfortunately as i say it is it is the uh, perfect example of a g1 brick um, but it's also the perfect example um, and i know people are always talking about it it's a very very common and highly talked about heated talked about as well topic about scale of figures and stuff at the moment and this guy unfortunately and you have to applaud the designers on one on one hand but then also maybe question what on earth were they thinking because how you can get, you know, a jet or an aircraft, an aircraft carrier and a robot, it's very, very difficult. So as I said, I completely applaud them for having a go at it. Let's have a look at, and the reason I'm doing this is just to show you, because I know some people have said what's like the original bubbles and everything look like. So this, I'm really lucky, is an original bubble. So it comes in the two parts like so. So you can see that's how it's held like that in the packaging let's just take this out the other reason why this one's in the packaging and this wasn't the case this was the one that was out of there which was beautiful um but this one isn't in the greatest condition so what i can do now is point out a load of things that you need to be aware of if you're after purchasing one for yourself and i suppose it completely depends on the mode in which you want to display him uh, because for exactly that so let's look at the aircraft carrier then so this is the aircraft carrier i'm trying to get rid of the glare i'm so so sorry and here it is there's not much you can go wrong with this the thing that will surprise you if you haven't held this is that this maybe you can hear it it's all die cast so it really is heavy and the ironic thing is in a second i'm going to bring up this guy the titan's return guy and this little one is heavier than the titan's return guy so if you've got things that are damaged missing stickers then unfortunately this is probably going to be your best mode to display so if i show you the robot mode here see we've obviously got all the stickers in the legs there and this blue chest piece so this guy has neither so if i fold this back and if i just briefly just do a basic i suppose little part of transformation of this into robot there is a separately uploaded video as well just for a bit of fun that's what he looks like with no stickers which is really bad and he hasn't got this i suppose it's like a cockpit either isn't it so stickers are important these are of course as you can see chrome so these and metal they can get corroded um, i'm quite lucky with this even though it's got loads of things missing with it the hinges you can see there are metal they're not corroded they're okay um the, the bars in there are all okay it's just silly things like this is broken off completely um let's turn it into a jet quickly then so you can see what it looks like without the cockpit it's not too bad it could be a bit better um but without all the stickers it doesn't look the greatest does it so you can see why stickers and some of the parts on it are important um i've just got one more funny thing to show you with this in a aircraft carrier mode <laughs> and i'm laughing as i'm doing it already because aircraft carrier luckily for them there wasn't many jets of the autobots obviously we had the um aerial bots which were quite small because they were combining the limbs so they could just about get away with that just about get away with that of course if i got silver bolts he'd pretty much cover him all up however not and i'm not even going to bother with the jet fire but this is <laughs> this is whirl there you go so whirl's basically using broadside as a surfboard <laughs> um you can see what i mean now about scale so they, they never could have done it and i don't think you could do it in today's standards to be fair it'd have to be a titan it'd just have to be a titan uh to be able to get this particular mode in and to work so um unfortunately 
it's good, but only really for display if you have things missing. With regards to accessories then, there are four accessories, and even the accessories are slightly out of scale. And what I mean by that is you've got a lovely looking large gun there, and then a weird small looking axe. The axe even looks a bit daft on him. The gun looks okay. Um, things to be aware of are, with the two missiles, there's two missiles. See these holes there? If these get stressed, which like, funnily enough, there you go, like this one has, you see how it's slightly stressed? Can we just see? Yeah, there it is. It's just, that's it. So of course, it won't fit very snugly around these parts on the underside of the wing. So if it doesn't fit snugly, then sometimes they do come off. Right, let's have a look at the jet mode then. Love this. Looks great. Stickers on it make it look even better. Of course, we've already pointed out that this is here. This is as far as you can push the arms in, by the way. They won't go in any further. Again, there's the stickers. I keep mentioning them, but you can see how important they are. Um, and there is still the rolling wheels underneath it as well. So it's not too bad. That mode's good, but it just takes up quite a bit of space. Um, instructions wise, with it being 86, it was red. Uh, black and white so the red was obviously for the Autobots the black and white was just what all the instructions were if it was a Decepticon it would have been black and white with purple right let's have a quick look at the box then because I'm sure you'll agree that the old artwork in fact we're getting lots of new good artwork on boxes which is about time too there's the actual artwork for the character just showing him in jet and robot mode there's some of the transformation process. Again, I've done a joke video as well. I've separately uploaded it, just taking him through all three of his modes and back. So like six transformations in under two minutes, if you want to watch that. There, of course, is the 1986 battle scene with the two Titans, Triptychon and Metroplex. And of course, the introduction of a load of new movie figures like Hot Rod and Springer, etc. Right, one more thing to do then, and that is, as I've already pretty much showed you him, this is, of course, the original Generation 1 version. This is, is it the 2018 Titans Return? It might not be that late um, version of him. And it sort of worked. It didn't, I don't know why they made him a headmaster. Um, but the crazy thing is, as I say, he's going to fall. I can tell you is this one is heavier than that because of the die cast parts in it. But he is a triple changer. He is um, still, he's still a very, you know, popular figure. I imagine that we might get a, a newish version of him with the Wreckers line that they're making maybe for Wave 2. But again, how they would do it, I don't really know. But I hope you enjoyed looking at him. Um, I hope it helps you with your decision if you wanted to get one and what to look out for. And yeah, let me know if you've got one, what you think of him, or if you weren't aware of just how sort of, I don't want really to use the term bad because, you know, it's not the most articulate figure, but it's it's nearly 30 years old. So we've, it is over 30 years old. I'm talking about it's nearly 40 years old. So we've got to give them some credit. Anyway, let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.